Hello and welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi and this is going to be a reading for whenever this message reaches you because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Do you get what I'm saying? All right, so let's uh, check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what. Hmm. Ooh, a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Okay, let's check this out. See what the spirit has to say How about this fiery climax approaching. Full moon in Aries, page 68. And it reads, it's time to see if you've been a little too much me, me, me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants, but you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level, you created the situation yourself, which means that you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. Hmm. I'm coming in hot. Coming in hot. All right. So we are going to continue to use the Orisha Tarot for the current or near future energies. The near future energies. And the advice will be done with the Tarot of the Golden Wheel regarding these particular energies. So, first up, King of Cups. You've been keeping your emotions to yourself and they are going to be released one way or another. Um, the King of Cups usually has a lot of control over showing his feelings, um, but with the central energy of a fiery climax approaches, um, there may be some steam that needs to be let off. Ah, the Two of Wands. Yes, there is an internal struggle. There is... Um, there's some stubbornness here. Uh, there's an unwillingness to yield. Hmm. very folding arms staring down the opposition what are you going to do about it type energy and the thing with the two of wands is that um, somebody is going to walk away disappointed hmm with this fiery climax next up is temperance Holding these emotions back because you want to remain on an even keel. Um, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. And you're being called to 
keep that even keel. But that means an even keel doesn't always mean avoid conflict. Ooh. Conflict is necessary. It's how we grow. And then we've got the two of cups here. This is, yes, this is soulmate energy. This is like new love energy. Um, but this can also mean that you are allowing your feelings to grow. This may not always be romantic love. Um, but there's definitely a desire for growth here in this card. Next up is the Knight of Wands. Knowing that there is difficult work ahead and ready and willing to do that work. Put me in coach, put me in coach. And also with that understanding that there is a path that needs to be chosen. The Knight of Wands may be young, but he's nobody's fool. And sometimes when you choose a path, there is no going back to explore the other options. Knight of Wands is aware of that, especially since he is the Knight of Fire. And then right next to that is the Knight of Cups, i.e. the Knight of Water, light. Willing to do the work and loving the work as it's being done. Uh, the Knight of Cups is kind of like the energy of the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups are very similar. Uh, the difference is the Knight of Cups is a little more sophisticated, but not nearly as sophisticated as the King of Cups. This is, this is more, this is more emotional content uh, to to keep directed properly. Next up, the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is the, the give and take and finally having enough to be able to be charitable towards other people, um, getting out of the hole yeah, you know, like the Five of Pentacles is about being out in the cold and, you know, being left out and you know, the card of destitution and whatnot. And then Six comes behind that, right behind the Five of Pentacles. And it's, it gives the air of like, dude, you're all right. That was just, that was just a tough time, but... All that you've lost is being restored to you. All that you've lost is being restored to you with the Knight of Pentacles coming in to clarify that. Like, you know what, Spirit? That is absolutely beautiful. Now, the Knight of Pentacles moves slowly. See how thick the field is here? Like, the horse is up to his belly in a field that you you can't even you can't even see the bottom so this is not quick moving this is not fast moving at all but you can you can take that you can take it to the bank though you can definitely take it to the bank and keep it there too i'm hearing with that six of pentacles Last up, we've got the Fool. 
uh, the same way I was talking about a whole new world. Uh, the fool is going out on the journey, packing light, ready to go. I'm ready if I don't get to go. Yeah, this is, we're going on an adventure. And the adventure will happen after this fiery climax because with fire, either way it goes, you're going to be working with some sort of clean slate, right? And clarifying that with the three of wheels or three of pentacles. This is going to be a very auspicious new beginning for you. You are fully supported, not only in the spirit, but also in the physical. Um, you will have, you will be able to come across those who are meant to work with you and to guide you on your way. You will, you will meet your merry band of misfits and you will proceed on this journey together. Yes. Well. Thank you for taking time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.